fucker. Where are you at? Are you afraid of anything? I'm afraid of stuff. I was afraid of stuff my whole life. I have been. And, um, like in school when I was little, I was afraid the teacher was going to call on me and I'd have to answer the question because even if I knew it, I was scared of talking in front of anybody. Mm -hmm. I was scared when I went to my, went out of the house and spent the night the first few times. I didn't want to spend the night with other people. I wanted to be at home in my bed and I was scared until they let me call and talk to my mom and dad. That's right. Carlin was afraid of everything. Carlin's the raccoon. He's afraid of everything. The bunny's in bed with him. Mm-hmm. He was afraid of bumps in the night. What's a bump in the night? Hmm. I know it's a sound. It's any kind of sound that goes bump in the night. That's what they use. He was afraid of trying new things. He was afraid of being alone. He was afraid of his own shadow. Oh my golly, he is scared. Look at that. If he's afraid of his own shadow, oh, look at that. He's, look at him at the door then. He's afraid of his own shadow. Mm, I think he's going to have to get some bravery because that's even more scared than I was when I was little. <gasps> you need a bit of bravery, said his friend Zach, and I know where you can get it. Oh, it sounds like his friend the fox is British. Hmm. Early the next morning, Zach led Carlin to the edge of the woods. There they saw a big bear, the bravest animal in all the land. He was standing by the fire stirring a big pot of soup. Look at that, a big pot of soup. What kind of soup do you think it is? Think it's Campbell's? Do you think it's a uh, chicken noodle? Do you think it's tomato soup? Do you think it's stew? I bet you know what it is. I bet it's bravery soup, do you think? Let's see, let's see. So, you want some bravery soup, do you? Said Big Bear. Y yes, stammered Carlin. Well, I'm mixing up a batch of bravery soup right here, but I'm missing an important ingredient. Will you get it for me? Asked Big Bear. Will it make me brave? Asked Carlin. Most certainly, said Big Bear. But your journey will not be easy. You must go alone through the forbidden forest to Skulk Mountain. On the mountaintop, you will see a cave. In the cave, you will find a box. Bring that box to me. Okay, let me hear, brave that box to me. Make sure you can see these pictures because I know how upset you get if Miss H doesn't show you the pictures. Carlin gasped. Okay, here's what he's doing, he's gasping. What does it say? Alone? The forest? The cave? His knees are shaking. You are braver than you think, said Big Bear. You are braver than you think. That's right. We all are braver than we think. Okay. When the animals heard that Carlin was venturing into the forbidden forest alone, they gathered around him squirrels. Here's your honor to protect up you from wild beasts. Skunk, here's a basket of food. The forest is full of poisonous plants. Bunny, here's a raft to cross the raging river. And the fox, here is a big stick to fight the fierce monster that lives in the cave. Oh my goodness, look at all of his friends. Look at what they're doing now. Oh yeah, look. Okay, go to this side and take a look. Here he is, look, oh no, he's so scared. He's got a big stick, oh my goodness, look. He's got all kinds of things, they're, they're taking care of him. What good friends. Now or never, Carlin thought. Slowly, he walked into the thick forest. Look at him walking into the thick forest. He's prepared, look, look, he's got his food, he's got his stick, he's got his armor, he's got a raft. His friends waited for a while, growing more and more worried. It is much too dangerous for little Carlin, they said. They decided to search for him. Oh, see, now they're afraid he's not going to make it, so they're going to go into the, oh, they're going to go into the forest themselves. As Carlin's friends entered the forest, they came across the armor. It's sitting right there. 
Oh, is he hurt? Look at this. They found the basket of food untouched. Oh my, is he starving? Then they spotted the raft. Oh, there's the rivers that look, oh, the raft. Floating at the river's edge was the raft. Oh no, the river has swept him away. Oh no, the raft is there too. Oh, let's hurry up and find out what's gonna happen. It was a good book, but Carlin was not hurt. He had soon realized that he could not walk fast wearing the heavy armor. I can flee the beast more quickly without it, he thought. So he took the armor off. So he did, he took it off. Carlin was not starving. As he walked along, he noticed animals and birds feasting on fruits in the forbidden forest. He saw some strawberries. I can eat these, he thought. So he dropped his heavy basket and ate the delicious fruit. So he got rid of the basket of food because there was fresh fruit along the way. Oh, Carlin's pretty smart indeed, isn't he? I think he is, that little Carlin. Carlin had, been, had not been swept away. When he came to the raging river, he found that a tree lay over the water. He tossed the raft aside. Carefully, he began to make his way across. He took one tiny step and then another until finally he reached the other side. So he didn't need the raft. Look at that. He went across a branch going across the river. I did it! He cheered himself. Carlin looked up. There before him was Skulk Mountain. Oh, Skulk Mountain. Dum, da, dum, bum. Ooh, that's where the music comes in to see. Here we go, Skulk Mountain. Carlin trudged on. The mountain was covered with thick bushes and vines. He broke his stick, cutting a path. Then he spotted giant footprints. Carlin had discovered the monster's cave. Huge footprints. Trembling, he entered. Trembling, he entered. There he is. Make sure you get a good picture of that. He's going into the cave on Skulk Mountain. Minutes later, his friends found the broken stick by the mouth of the cave. Oh no, he has been eaten by the monster. But Carlin had not been eaten by the monster. He peered into the cave and squinted his eyes. There on the ground was the box. Just then something moved from the shadows. The monster! Terrified, Carlin hid behind a pile of rocks. Suddenly, one of the rocks tumbled over. Oh no, look, the monster and the rocks tumbling over. Uh... The sound made the monster jump and howl. Who is it? He whimpered. What do you want? Carlin had cast a long, spooky shadow. Look at this shadow. I'll show you better in a minute. Could this scary monster be afraid of me? He thought. Look at this. Look at his shadow. Mm -hmm. My name is Carlin, he said in his deepest, loudest voice, I come for the box. This box? The monster tossed the box towards Carlin. Take it, he said. Just please don't hurt me. Oh, take it, he said. Just please don't hurt me. The monster's afraid of Carlin. I wasn't expecting that. At last, the tired animals gathered around Big Bear's fire. Carlin carried the precious box. Now it's time, said Big Bear. Open the box. Carlin pried off the lid. So here he is, he's got the box, he's brought it back. 
And here's the bear with his bravery. Oh, look, gonna put that, whatever's in the box is gonna go in the soup. So it can be bravery soup. <gasps> the box was empty. <gasps> the box is empty. Carlin was sad. I'm sorry, big bear. I didn't get the secret ingredient for bravery. But you did, said Big Bear with a smile. The box was always empty. Do you mean my journey was for nothing? Said Carlin in surprise. Your journey was not for nothing, said Big Bear. You faced the forest and you faced your fear. It is not what is inside the box that makes bravery. It is what's inside of you. So what about the bravery soup? asked Carlin. It's called bravery soup because I only serve it to the brave, said Big Bear. So look at that. It's what's inside of you. Wow. And the last page. I am brave, said Carlin, and he held up his bowl. He was gonna get some bravery soup. Woo, I love that book. I hope you did too, okay? And um, I'll see y'all later, gators.